So you asked for a part two, I got you. For some magical reason, narcissists can't be okay with one or two supplies. They gotta have multiple supplies. So I was from a specific neighborhood and then her neighborhood was like right next to mine. So the dudes from my neighborhood was more like raw or whatever the case may be. So like a lot of the people that I hung around with or my friends would not post their girl on their social media because they knew how the dudes around my way would be. But I didn't care. I did whatever, whatever the case may be, right? So the narcissist that I was with, she would complain. She would be like, yeah, these dudes that's, you know, from your block or these dudes where you from, whatever the case may be, um, they always on my, they always on my stuff. They always on my stuff, blah, blah, blah. They liking my pictures and they don't even follow me. Comes to find out the dudes that she's like basically downplaying, she's hitting them up on Snapchat. And that was another one of the biggest red flags because when I first met her, she was like going through my phone, right? So I ain't had nothing to hide. So to be funny, I was like, yeah, haha, I'm gonna go through your phone. I did it one time. And the only thing, the, the biggest red flag when I did that was the fact that she deleted all her messages. Like if she got a message from her mom, she would delete it. Like all her messages would be deleted on, on everything, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And to me, that's a red flag only because I don't delete my, my messages. Like it's probably messages I got from people from, I'm 27. It's, it's messages I got from people from high school that I never swiped away or deleted. So for her to get messages and respond to people and then just delete them was weird. And like I said, you know how you know something, but you don't really know. In my mind, I think the same nudes she was sending me, she was sending to other dudes as well. And also another situation was we went to the beach went to the beach it was a dude there that worked at the job back in the city but he also worked at the beach right and um you know what i'm saying i was there with her and her people and we all went to the bar or whatever and he, like i said he was a bartender there or whatever the kids may be and at the time like i said everybody there so like all the people there so i'm thinking like all right it's just cool and they knew this guy from work or whatever but when i look back i'm like they did have like a little too friendly blah 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 vibes or whatever kids may be. So I think she fucked him too. I'm trying to tell you, it was so many situations where um now looking back, I'm like, ah, did she send him nudes? Ah, did she sleep with him? Did she ah uh. and you know how they say narcissists like basically like they pull back on um you know sexual stuff and stuff like that. So I got fortunate enough to, you know, she was um we got to the point where she wasn't even trying to bang bang, if you know what I'm saying. And um, I was fortunate because if she's sleeping with these dudes or um, which I think some of them was just around because she slept with them before me. Because we was always around each other, but I don't know because they live so many lives like she listened to rap music and then she listened to metal and then she dressing like this and then she dressing like that. And then she worked at Walmart in her head and then she worked at Target. I don't know. These people just these narcissists, man.